Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. It's 3 a.m. and I, uh, I just woke up there because the uh, ducks were freaking out. And all the, uh, the ducklings are outside. And the yeah, ducks are going crazy. Something must have went through the yard. It just calmed down just now. Good night or, or good morning. I don't, know, I don't know what to do. I had it to yesterday or I had to today. Good morning, everybody. It's July 24th of the Duck Adventure, and Doug and I are out here this morning. I got Doug to come out this morning. Oh, Dougie. He's, uh, I figured out in the mornings he won't, he would, he wasn't coming outside with me to do, uh, the morning rush because electric fence incident. So, uh, he's got this thing. He thinks that, uh, when I come out first thing in the morning, it's dangerous, but uh, when I come out the second time after my coffee, it's not dangerous. So, I don't know. But, Doug, I gotta keep him away from the fence here. Doug, oh, he's not cooperating. Dougie, oh, you. Okay, Doug, come here, come here, Doug. Okay, Doug, so relax. Oh, I know, it's exciting, isn't it? Sorry about the bad camera, guys, but I got a dog here that wants to go to the fence really bad. Doug, stop it. See? Hey, Doug, you're not listening. Doug, no. Okay, this is bad. Doug, stop it. Oh, that was bad. Dougie. It's unbelievable. I don't know what it is. He wants to go right to the fence. Oh, anyways, for a dog that's so in tune with so many things around here, and he's got a real problem with mechanical items, i.e. the fence, you know? But look at this. Oh, we're gonna have a crazy rush. We're all at this end. Oh, God, hey, that's a mess. Scoby uh, Drake, we missed that. Well, I saw it, you didn't. <laughs> as soon as they come out, first thing they do, start gnawing down on my lawn. That's right on, man. Keep eating, I don't want to cut it. Like right away, just look at them going. But I know their feet are empty, so that's why they got a morning hunger. Got to get their food here right now. One thing I, I really like watching is the geese. They're uh, a much more aggressive grazer than the ducks are. Uh, a duck, you watch them eat, and, you know, they sort of like, I don't know, um, I'm not trying to sort of say it like, they sort of gum the grass, but, uh, you know, a, a, a goose, they grab it and rip it right out. Like, look at that thing go. Where if you watch a... Uh, uh, a duck, you know, they're eating is a, a lot different. I can see, uh, you know, a flock of geese, they'd, there'd be no grass. There'd be more right now. Hey, Goose Lee, are you ever getting big? 
And unfortunately, I can't get near him anymore. Actually, all the geese now, it's hopeless, unless I want to, you know, stress them out and get a, um, uh, a net. That's the only way. So let's go, uh, oh, our little dehydration duck is still alive. Oh, look at the little thing. She isn't dead. That's a good sign. But you know what kills me is that last night, and like, you know, I showed in the video there, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, and these guys were outside, and it's not nice out this morning. It's like 8 degrees. And the ducklings are out here, uh, you know, makes no sense. I uh, wonder what kind of uh, mess they made in here. Doug's just sticking right to me here. Oh, they drank. Look, I just want to show you here. This was filled last night. Um, Nine o'clock is when I filled this water last night. Um, and I just want to show you how much they drank. Look at that kitty pool. Like uh, today, but the float's getting put on it today. So, but let's look at the poop. It's just a, it's just a mess of poop all around it. This is going to be so cool once we get this set up. The dirt, everything, all the poop is going to be right there, and it can just get all flushed out of the pen. The pen's going to dry right out. And today, I am so bag tired <laughs> from that rock. Oh man, that was a two and a half hour adventure at the gym getting that out of the ground by myself with no mechanical assistance well, other than a pry bar so but uh let's go and see the the ducklings in the in the uh, barn then i gotta start my chores and i gotta have my coffee because i'm 38 minutes late today on my whole routine here dog sticking right to me this morning not a crazy dog he uh i figured out this morning i said you know you wouldn't even come out or come downstairs i said Do it, doug's uh I think he still got this thing about in the mornings is electrocution morning, you know? Because it was uh, like 6.30 in the morning when he got electrocuted uh, when I was doing uh, in the barn doing my chores. So, I think that's Doug's problem. Oh, what are the guys in here? Oh, you guys have made a serious dent and everything in here. Alright, we got the two little feeders are empty. They've stripped them. And that stripped, and they eat uh, a whole 20 liters of food, and it looks like, over here, it looks like about half. Uh, yeah, it looks like half. And of course, all the water is gone. So, I gotta get this food happening for these guys, and get everybody fed on the duck adventure. I'm gonna give you a, a shot here before I go in um, and have my coffee, uh, since I finished my chores. I wanna show you, it's like, right now it's 10 degrees Celsius, it's cold, you know, and they always say, you know, you got to keep ducklings warm. But look at these crazy birds. They're in the shade. And it's cool out. You know, it's, it's a cool morning. And they're in the, in the, over this water. I just filled it up. It's like probably, it's about 52 degrees Fahrenheit well water. And, you know, and they're in it playing. And they're inside eating, eating gorging big time. And the, uh, look at these guys. They rush to come out to sleep. Now there wasn't even, you know, the strange part this morning is the feeders like, well that's strange, it happens every morning I should say, is the feeders were stripped clean. And usually when I fill them up, you know, there's a mad rush to, you know, have a little bit of a morning snack before they start their day. But they just came out, grazed uh, for about 10 minutes on the initial rush out, and then uh, now they're all having a nap. But then again, you know, it's a lot nicer napping on the grass than it is in the pen. You know, they're, uh, this is what you call happy ducks. And this is not even all of them. There's a whole bunch on the other side of the house here. I'm, uh, actually, I'll, I'll go up the clothesline stand and see if I can get an aerial shot for you. All right, they didn't like me walking up the clothesline stand. So, here's what they're doing. Nothing. And there's a bunch down at the lake, actually, already. They, they headed down. I, I noticed there's a group of about 25 of them that were headed down the path. So More and more every day are going down to the lake on their own. So maybe uh, eventually, you know, by the time I'm ready to take them down there, uh, they'll uh, already be there. Well, I, I totally forgot that I had to go to town today and uh, basically waste uh, most of the day. And I got home. 
and the ducks are in the pen, which doesn't make any sense. They're all hanging around in the pen, and guess what was flying overhead? Giant raven again. Uh, just actually, when I pulled in my driveway, um, he was just doing a low, like I'm talking maybe 50, 70 feet above the ground flyby. So I don't know what he's been doing here, but he was enough that he freaked out all the ducks, and uh, they're in the pen because nobody's out around the yard. That, uh, oh man, I, 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 I run into town. I hate doing that every time you go in town. You have a list of things you got to get, and uh, it always takes longer than you think. So, but look at this. They're all inside the pen, which is, you know, they don't stay in the pen. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand this. Uh, you know, like two thirds of the flock is inside. Uh, some are hiding over here underneath the cedar bushes. You know, they're hiding. But there are a bunch that uh, are down at the swamp and down here. Let's go down and uh, take a look and see what they're up to. I'm curious on what these guys are doing because they're the only ones that have got any courage or they're just really stupid. I'm curious to know if they're uh, adolescents or if they're adults. But it's, uh, I had to go to town and waste uh, half of my day, three quarters of my day here. I'm uh, gonna be lucky if I get the plumbing done. Oh, it's mucky down here. You can tell lots of duck action. They, look at this for, uh, they've been, uh, there's a pretty good trail beaten down here for these guys. And I'm wondering which ones are down here. Actually, there's more than I thought down here. Hello, ducks. It's me. Actually, yeah, there's more than I thought. I thought there was only a couple down here and, uh, they're rooting around in here. I'm gonna have to come down here again with the bushwhacker. It's growing up. I know from previous experience cutting bull rushes, it usually takes uh, three cuts. It's uh, but that's the uh, I cut that. I'm gonna have to go down there again. Look at that. It's already growing up. But you can see the lake. There it is. Which I'm really curious why these guys are hanging around right here. What are you guys hanging around right here for? Oh, the water ever down. Which makes no sense with the amount of rain we've had. I know, I'm gonna leave you alone. Why don't you go to the lake? I'm just looking here. You know what? It's uh, mostly adult ducks. I'm just looking here. Every one of them have lake bands. Adult peakings. Yeah, I'm looking here. There's a couple that don't have lake bands. Oh, they have, yeah, they're all uh, the adults. All right. Let's get out of here. Leave them alone. You guys have fun down here. You're living with smart ones. It's just bizarre that they won't go to the lake. And now that you know they can see uh, right down in the lake, you know, like it's it doesn't make any sense. But I think, like I said, it's all numbers. Oh, look at them They're over there playing. They're the smart ones. So it's the uh, last year's adults that have got a brain. Oh, come on, Doug. All right, I gotta do some work here and I'm gonna at least get the plumbing set up today for the uh, the automated watering. I won't get, uh, oh, Doug, he's, under, under, he's gonna run by you so he splashes you with the mud, you know? He's a crazy dog. But uh, it doesn't look like we have any death here or carnage or, you know, no bodies, but I gotta cut this again. How unbelievable. Ah, uh, like I said, a couple more cuts and the bull rushes will be done. But at least, you know, it's so sparse, uh, the bulrush is sticking up, that nothing can still hide in here, so it's still pretty clear shooting. But I don't understand why they're all hiding in the pen today. Unless they're doing that because I wasn't home, and, you know, the fact that I wasn't, you know, out in the, uh, about in the yard, because, you know, I'm basically here all the time working. So it's, it has to be that, that just because I wasn't home, they just stuck, went back into the pen and stayed in the pen. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Because this is not like the ducks, you know, you open that gate and pff, they're gone. Uh, you know, all over the property. But like, to uh, 
have this many ducks in here. What are you guys doing? Why are you in the pen? Oh, we got ducks hiding everywhere. Very strange. Unless they're just totally in love with their uh, kiddie pool here. And I have noticed now that the kiddie pool is sitting on cement, that the water is not as muddy and dirty as when the kiddie pool was sitting on the ground. Because when it was sitting on the ground, they were drilling right beside it, and I guess they were filling their uh, bills. Like, if you look at the water, like I drained both of these this morning and changed them, and that's got like a milky chocolate brown look, and that's got, you know, like a real dark chocolate brown look. And you can see the drilling here. So they're drilling in the mud, and then they put their bills in the water and rinse their bills out. So this is actually helps keep the water cleaner. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, check on the you know the babies and everybody here and get the food happening and I'm gonna to top up their food they're low they ate a lot because they're in the pan and I'm gonna uh, get this plumbing done put another tap on so that uh, I can have a hose and go into the float and who knows I might get the cage built today I don't know yet I'm uh, pretty burnt out from yesterday it was a hard day harder than I anticipated so and I hate running to town oh, the only thing I hate doing is going to town I hate shopping uh, I, I just hate it I, uh, honestly, I'd just rather shop online. You click, click, bye, bye. But can't buy uh, duck supplies online. <laughs> it would cost too much to get it shipped here. Well, I, I didn't get the, uh, the the water station completed. I got the plumbing done, uh, so that's all done. So tomorrow I'll build the uh, the station with the float. And, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, call it early night. It's it's only 7 o'clock, so it's time for... I mean, this is early for me. I'm going to uh, go in and relax. Well, not relax. i got some computer work to do. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy a roasted duck supper. Ooh, tasty stuff. My, uh, my little pigs here. They spent the day, uh, kept going back into the pen, uh, even after I got them out. They kept, you know, going in little bits here and there, and little sneaks. I think it's because I wasn't here today. And that they, uh, it was a safety thing. They just felt, uh, you know, see, it doesn't make any sense for them to go inside. Because normally, you know, they're, they don't want to be in the pen. So it's got to be because I, uh, I wasn't home. The majority of them are out now. There's about, uh, about 50 of them that are in the, uh, the pen right now. Actually, they're playing here. I'll give you a shot. The uh, silly pools are in the, uh, the tub. I gotta get these guys to the lake. I'm gonna be so glad when these, the backlog is done here. And I uh, can, uh, you know, go and just force them to the lake and have some fun with them. Soon. I'm getting closer and closer to get my uh, my work done. Like, you know, I keep, I'm not, I, I don't wanna keep saying it, but it's that staggered hatch that's killed me this year. The work involved with all the different ages. But we'll get these guys to the lake really soon. Like I, I'm counting on really, really soon here. I'm gonna, I gotta get them out of the yard. And the Muscovies are hunting for some females right now. Uh, they're all over the yard doing the. Uh, there might be a, a Muscovy fight happening here uh, shortly. Now Doug is in the yard right now, so uh, they might behave themselves. So oh, he's gonna chase it. They get into a fight. They actually lock uh, horns. Doug will be all over them. Right now, he's behind me. Actually, he's looking at them right now. If they start into a brawl, Doug's going to be all over them. He's already intercepted a couple of meeting times there. He really doesn't. I don't know what it is about the Muscovies. It's got to be because they're rough. But it's the end of the night here, and this is the time if they're going to be fighting. This is it right now. And there's, uh, okay, that one doesn't like Mo. We might actually see a fight here, and Doug do his uh, job. This Doug is right here watching right now. Well, he's not watching, sort of, but he's not. 
Well, I'll get into a fight, guys, so we can uh, show Doug's talent. I think they're being good because they know Doug's right here. It's the only thing that makes sense. Because they're like they're like angels when Doug's around. Yeah, they're not gonna do it. Hmm. Of course, I got the camera running, so they're not gonna uh, give us a show. And Doug's not gonna be able to show us his talent. Right now, his talent is rolling in duck poop. Doug. Oh, I gotta wash you off now. Thankfully, I can wash him down with the hose. He's so good with the hose. He gets right into position now. But he's watching them. He, uh... Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. He's, uh, he's waiting. Who knows? There's a whole bunch down at the other end of the yard of duckies. They're in the, uh, the cedar hedge. They're so cute. The uh, the ruins, though, they're still big. They're just the right size that they can get through the cry the uh, the four inch uh, grid, and they're not uh, notorious for uh, look up and yep, they're inside. All right, everyone, I'm gonna uh, go in and clean up and have my shower. And have a, a roasted duck supper tonight. So that's it.